안녕하십니까? Nicolas in design. These are three functional array methods that every JavaScript developer should know. That find helps us look for an item inside of an array. And the way we use it is like this. That find, just like all the other methods on this video, has only one required parameter and that is a callback function. The callback function is not going to be called by us. We just put the name of the function and JavaScript is going to call the function and is also going to call it with very helpful arguments. In the case of that find, JavaScript will call the find avocado function with each fruit of the fruit array on the first argument. So basically what is going on behind the scenes is JavaScript doing something like this. Now this isn't actual code, it's just the way I like to imagine it to make it easier to understand. The name of the parameter on the callback function does not matter. I named it current fruit, but you can name it whatever you want. What is important is the position. Let's now take a look at what the find avocado function is doing. Now each method on this video and in JavaScript has a different rule of what a callback function does. The rule for that find is that if the callback function returns true, that means that we have found the item that we are looking for. In our find avocado function, the condition will be true if the current fruit that we are receiving from JavaScript is equal to the avocado, else it will return false. After our find avocado function returns true, the current item that is being processed is going to be the resulting value of the that find function. And that is the value that our avocado constant is going to hold. That map allows us to take elements from an array, transform them and put them on a new array. That map will not modify the source array. Instead, it will create a new one with the transformed items. Now, the way we use it is something like this. Just like what we saw on that find, the callback function will be called for each item of the array and the first argument will be the item that is currently being processed. So to make it easier to understand, you can imagine that something like this is happening behind the scenes. Remember, this is not real code, it's just an example to make it easier for us to understand what's going on. The rule for that map is that the value returned by the callback function will be the value that will be in our new array. Right now, our callback function is receiving each of the numbers in the source array inside of the current number argument and is returning that current number times two. That means that when the that map function finishes, the value of the transform constant on our code will be an array with the same length as the source array, but with the numbers doubled. Now it's very important to remember that the callback function has to return something. If you forget to return, like in this code, for example, then the result will be an array of the same length of the source array, but full of undefined. Now for the last method on this video, we're going to use a new syntax, a different way of writing our functions. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use arrow functions. With arrow functions, we can modify the that find and that map examples from looking like this to looking something like this. Now, as you can see, that looks much, much better. Now, don't be scared by this syntax. It's very easy to understand. All arrow functions do is they allow us to write a function in one line of code. Instead of having to type the word function in parentheses and brackets and all those things, we can just do it in one line of code. And it's very easy to understand. First, we write the arguments of the function and after the arrow, we write the return value. That's it. The superpower of the arrow function is that it has something called a implicit return. That means that we don't need to write the return keyword to return something. Whatever you put after the arrow, that will be returned automatically. Before we were using arrow functions, JavaScript was doing something like this behind the scenes. And now with arrow functions, JavaScript is gonna do something like this behind the scenes. As you can see, it's almost very similar. Now, before we move on to the last method on this list, please remember that if you want to learn JavaScript for free with me, all you have to do is click the link below. There you're going to find an eight hour free JavaScript course for 100% JavaScript beginners. So if you want to become a developer, you want to do it with JavaScript and you want to do it with me, please click the link below and I will see you there. That filter allows us to remove an item from an array. Now, actually that is not really true. That filter, just like that map, they don't modify the source array. What that filter will do is that filter will create a new array without the items that you don't want to be there. 
Now the way we use it using arrow functions is like this. Now the rule of the callback function for that filter is very, very easy. If we return true, then the item that is currently being processed is going to end up in the new array. If we return false, then that item that is being processed is going to be excluded from the new array. Now here we have an array of foods that contains fruits and one corn. We want to keep only the fruits. So in our callback function, we are checking if the current food being processed is not equals to corn. If it's not corn, then that food is going to end up in our new array. If it is corn, then that condition will return false, which means that we have to exclude that item, which is corn, from our fruits array. There are other methods, like for example, that sort, that flat, and that reduce that I think are very useful as well. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to make videos about those methods and also let me know in the comments if you would like me to make videos like this one but for programming languages like maybe Python, Java or C Sharp. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this content and you would like to support the channel then please leave a like and subscribe. It's two clicks. It's free for you but it helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Stay free. Stay happy. Eat kimchi. Kamsamida. Saranheyo. See you on the next one. Bye bye.